Hey Johnny, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a repair to a garden hose. I went and visited my sister last week and she has a garden hose that had a broken end fitting and she asked if I could fix it. So I thought I'd show you how to do that process. We're gonna do that right now. If this is your first time watching this channel, this channel is for boys growing up without a dad, hopefully to show you some things that you may not learn otherwise. I'm gonna be repairing this hose in this one and I like to refer to my stepsons as Johnny. So Johnny, I'm gonna show you how to fix this hose. My sister showed me that her hose was broken when I was down there and I said, well, let me take it with me and I'll, I'll do a repair on it and then I can film it and show Johnny how to do it as well. So this is, the male end of her hose, this would be the female end and obviously it's broken off. So this is the part that needs to be repaired. So I had to go get the other part, which is the female that we'll put on now. So this is a pretty simple repair. All you have to do is cut the hose and all you have to do is cut it here. So I'm gonna cut it off back here and use some of this hose for something that I need it for. So I'm just gonna cut this with a utility knife. I don't wanna cut into my picnic table so I'm putting a, a board I don't care about underneath it and then we just cut the hose we'll want to cut it as close to 90 degrees as we can doesn't have to be terribly exact and now I've got this for what I need I don't want this on for what I'm gonna use it for so I'm gonna cut that off too so that's mine. Now, this is the female that we want to put on the back side or, or put in the hose to repair it. This comes with four pieces. This is the part that goes in the hose, and we'll push that in, but we want to have the new female part in there first, and then there will be a washer that goes in there. We can put that in after. We also want to make sure we put the hose clamp on first, and that's how this is assembled. So the hose clamp will go on first, then with the fitting through the ferrule, we insert that into the hose and push that down until it's seated as far in as we can get it. Now, if you have a hard time getting that in, you can do something like the handle of a screwdriver to seat it the rest of the way. Or another option would be Put a little bit of dish soap and water on the on the fitting before you push it in, but that's seated pretty well. So now I'll slide the clamp up. I'm going to loosen it just a little bit more to get it up to here. You want to leave a little bit, maybe a quarter of an inch of hose above the clamp, and then just clamp it down. Ideally, you'll want this to be able to spin freely, but you don't want it so far out it's not going to seal. So about there looks good. And then I'll tighten this down. This type of a clamp, it's called a worm gear because as you turn this, it's just screwing tighter and tighter on these grooves in this clamp. And that's what closes it or opens it. Now I brought the tin snips. If I wanted to, I could trim off any extra there. There's really not a lot of excess on this. The hose washer goes in the end of this on the inside. First time you screw that on, it will seat all the way. So in this case, I can seat it like that. Of course, this is the one end of the other one, so that's not terribly functional for anything. But that will help seat the hose washer. It would do the same thing if we were seating it on the faucet itself. So now we're gonna test our repair. We've got the washer inserted. We're gonna thread that onto the hose Bib. And with that tightened down, hand tight, to really test what we've done, I'm going to put this on the other end so that we can have it pressurized through the hose and make sure it seals where we have our clamp. So with that on, I'll turn the hose on and look for leaks and I don't see any. And yet we know there's water pressure because we've got it in the hose. So I think we're all set with this one. Johnny, I hope you learned how you can make a garden hose last longer by repairing it now. You can do that with lots of things around your house if you look for ways to repair things rather than just throw them out and buy a new one. 
If you have any questions about any of the stuff we covered in this video or any videos that you'd like me to make, any questions you'd have that I can make a video on, then make sure you post them in the comments on this video. Always remember two messages that I want you to get from every video. You can succeed. You can successfully grow into manhood even though your dad may not be in your daily life. And number two, always remember your stepdad loves you. I'll see you on the next video. Johnny, I went to visit my sister the other day, and she, you got a back rub. <laughs> now, if you need to know how to fix a hose, uh, a hose fitting, let me do that again. Make sure it doesn't leak from back here. You're getting the camera, Dad. <laughs>